This is the homework for lesson 13. It's module 4 of grade 3. Please write your name here first. Each of the following figures is made up of two rectangles. Find the total area of each figure. So here are the, the pictures of them all. And the bottom of the page has where you write everything down. Let me just zoom back in on the pictures. So figure one has two rectangles. It's got rectangle, this is rectangle A, and that's rectangle B. And the idea is that if you add the areas of those two rectangles together, you'll get the rectangle of this kind of L-shaped figure. So we can just get the line for figure one here. So the area of A plus the area of B. So the area of A is one. You can count the squares, but you can see that it's one, two, three, four, five rows of three, which is 15. And the area of B is three rows of three, which is nine. So 15 square units plus nine square units. That's 24 square units. Figure two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's three rows of eight. Three times eight is 24. So that's the area of C is 24 square units. Then there's the area of D, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, rows of 5, which is 20 square units. And 20 plus 24 is 44 square units. And now figure 3 here has the area of E. This is the area of E right here, and this is going to be the area of F. E is 4 rows of 3, which is 12. 4 times 3 is 12. And then F is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's 8 rows of 4. And that is 4 times 8. That's 32. And those are pretty easy digits to work with. Also 44 square units. Figure 4. The area of G. There's G. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 3 rows of 5, which is 15. And area. And H goes here. That's one, two, three, four, five rows of one, two, three, four, five. Five rows of five is 25 square units. And if we add these together, 15 plus 25, I see five, I see five plus five is 10. That's another 10 for 20. And then two more tens, that's 40 square units just to do that addition. And you might want to just write out all of these areas. You could have done it this way first. Right in the Number two, the figure shows a small rectangle cut out of a big rectangle. Find the area of the shaded figure. So what we can do is this shows subtraction as uh, 
method for finding it. So that's what we're going to use. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be this whole, uh, I'm going to use pink for this to outline this because it's harder to see the green. It's going to be the whole eight by seven rectangle with this three by three square subtracted out of it. So just like the whole thing was just a big square of gray paper and we cut out this, this oh, it's a rectangle of gray paper and then we cut out this square here. So we're going to subtract that area out. So the whole thing is eight times seven. That's the whole thing. And we're going to subtract this three by three square. Right. So that's, this is the area of This 8 times 7 is 56, and that 3 times 3 is 9. So that's what goes here in the blanks. It's 56 is the whole thing, minus 9. And 56 minus 9 is 47. So it's 47 square centimeters. The figure shows a small rectangle cut out of a big rectangle. So here we see the whole, the area, we're going to use the same strategy for this one. It's a little more spelled out for us this time. Um, label the unknown measurements. So this is a bit of a puzzle this time, although the, uh, the equations here are really the steps are really set set up for us. It's labeling the unknown measurements that's kind of the puzzle for this one. And you'll see a lot of these kinds of puzzles uh, for for area. They're a favorite of standard standardized tests. They really are. So the idea is you look at use the idea of opposite sides of a rectangle being equal. So if this side here is eight then this whole side here also has to be 8. This part from here to there, this part is 4. So this part here has to be the rest of the 8. It's this, this part here has to be 8 minus 4. So this one is 4. And now looking at this, this side here is 9, which means th this side also has to be 9. So the total of these two parts, right, this 6 centimeter part goes from there to there. And this label here is for this part there. So these two added together have to equal 9. And that, so it's 3 plus 6, that's 9. So this side has to be 3. So the area of the big rectangle we already knew was, let me clean some of this up with my eraser here. We already knew this was 8 times 9 for the area of the big rectangle. And 8 times 9 is 72. And the area of the small rectangle, now we know the sides are 4 and 3, right? Because we figured out 4 and 3. So it's going to be 4 times 3, which is 12. And now the area of the shaded figure has to be the whole thing minus the piece that was cut out. So it's the 72 minus the 12. And those are pretty friendly digits for subtraction. You can see that all the ones are going to be subtracted and one of the tens, which will leave 60. And it's square centimeters.